if you don't carry these things, you ain't no contractor. Well, general contractor. Hey, don't forget uh, to watch this video all the way. There is a giveaway in this video, but I'm not gonna tell you where it's at. You gotta watch it to find it. And then I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. You gotta watch it to figure it out. So good morning everybody, it's morning when I'm shooting this video. It may be night when you're watching it, but good morning from here. Uh, my name's Josh, Blackberry Ridge. You know that because you clicked on the channel. Today we are going to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you uh, kind of what I carry every day as a general contractor. Maybe you're a contractor watching this and you'll have a different opinion, that's great. Leave it down in the comments. Maybe you're somebody who just might be interested in, you know, what a general contractor carries every day. That's great too. If you have any opinions, leave them down in the comments. And uh, if you just want to be somewhat mildly entertained for the next 10 minutes or so, and uh, then you want to tell me about how much you were entertained down in the comments, just let me know. So I carry several things with me daily, um, being a general contractor. A little bit on my person, but a lot in my truck. So I'm gonna do a little pocket dump for you and just kind of show you as a contractor what I carry every day on me, um, just throughout the day. And then I'll show you uh, what I put on me whenever I go to a job site or used to put on me. My roles have kind of changed within my company. So, but I'll show you what I would wear if I was running the jobs daily. Um, as a more superintendent type role. And then I'll show you what I carry with me or try to carry with me in my vehicle every single day, uh, work day, to try to uh, make my job, my life easier uh, throughout a daily task, uh, view stand, standpoint, viewpoint, yeah, whatever. So I'm gonna show you what I carry in my truck. How about that? To try to make my life easier. There we go. So let's start with what I might carry on my person every day. Okay, so first things first, what I carry on me every single day. I've got personal wallet with all my stuff in it. I've got business wallet with business credit cards, job credit cards, that fun stuff. Um, I carry a set of AirPods with me all the time. These things are awesome. I can walk around the job hands-free. I can put them away. They slim. They fit in my pocket. I don't look like that guy with the Bluetooth all the time um, that just kind of walks around with one. I can put them in and out. I love this thing right here when I'm sitting at my desk and I don't want to talk on speakerphone. I just plug these in and I can type away whatever and nobody else has to listen to the conversation. These are awesome. Love them. Uh, then there's the handy dandy iPhone. Uh, I carry the iPhone 10, um, truck keys, um, office keys, whatever. The only tool I carry on that is this little night eyes, um, kind of bottle opener. Um, it's got a hexagon deal right there that, um, allows you to maybe tighten a nut or whatever. I use this pry thing quite a bit for uh, anything flat headed that I can just, you know, turn real quick or pry up, but that's pretty much the only thing I use this for is that piece right there. So other than that, it's just kind of there for an emergency type application. I don't carry a flashlight on me at all times. That's kind of bulky. I just don't need it when I got a flashlight on the phone. So, um, pin whatever just standard ink pen and then i've got a bench made uh bug out knife i love this knife it is thin lightweight um very lightweight Pro this is the best knife i've ever carried i love this knife so that's kind of what i carry on me now let's go inside my truck Okay, the truck is a Ford F-250, by the way. I don't know if you saw that in the intro or if I've said that, but um, 
So basically you open the door and right here in the door panel, I keep a Leatherman. Uh, I think this is the Wave. Um, yep, Leatherman Wave. Uh, I use that a little bit. It's I carry so many tools with me. It's not just absolutely a crucial thing. Secondly, I have a Pelican headlamp that needs batteries. <laughs> but you can tell how often I use that. But if I need it, I have it. And I carry batteries with me too. So uh, I definitely need to change the batteries out on that. But um, this Pelican headlamp, when it's working, it's awesome. Uh, something else down in here. Oh, that's just the truck plug. Uh, work gloves. I love these mechanic gloves. I have several pairs of them. Um, these are the ones I carry in my truck with me. Uh, this right here, I'll show you kind of how I rig this out here in a minute. Um, this I don't carry anymore, but I used to carry this a lot whenever I would uh, have meetings on, on the job site with customers or contractors where we were kind of doing walkthroughs and stuff. It allows me to carry a tape measure and pencils and have things at my ability and it just hooks on with that simple loop right there. Uh, who makes I think the AWS makes this. Um, oh, AWP, sorry. AWP, HP. It just slides down in your belt um, and hooks on to the, in your waistband and hooks onto your belt right here. So I'll uh, show you that rigged out here in a minute. I love this tool for estimates. Um, this is a Bosch. Uh, laser measure. Um, it uh, gives you uh, foot and inches and will even compute things for you. It's just real quick and easy. You just shoot it and and um, it's real fa faster than pulling out a tape measure, especially stretching a tape measure across somebody's house. And it's accurate enough for me to get uh, good enough numbers to build an estimate on. So there's that. And then the handy dandy tape measure so um next i carry these two maxpedition pouches uh this one holds construction pencils and markers and things like that and then this one holds all my job site keys you can hear it rattling i've got everything key tagged in there or most of everything for uh <coughs> all that i love these pouches I have several of them um, for various different things, but we're just talking about general contractor stuff today, so those two apply to that. Uh, right here, this is probably one of my favorite little flashlights. Uh, this is the Streamlight uh, ProTac 2. Uh, it's a bright little thing, it's thin, it's narrow. Um, I've had this light for several years. If I do ever need a flashlight, I come out here to the truck on a job site or whatever at night driving around, and this is my go-to. Uh, I do have a backup. If I can get that back in close enough. There we go. I do have a backup. It is right here. Just a HyperX J5. I think I got this for Christmas one year. Um, it's not even working right now. I can't speak to any kind of quality of this. I just had it laying around, so I threw it in the truck. Next, I have uh, this um, Cobalt knife. It's also got a seat belt cutter on it, which is nice, but it's a razor blade. So it's a quick kind of go-to. Hang on, I'm trying to open it. So it's a quick box knife in a jam, in a pinch. If my tools aren't with me or whatever, I've got this. Um, box knife on a job site is pretty crucial for opening things or whatever you don't want to use your uh, your good knife for um, with replaceable blades and all that i uh, use this quite a bit too uh what else um you can see here if my camera will catch up the lighting is awful there we go okay so i have my uh visor thing here i think soe makes this i love this thing I carry different colored pens for different reasons. I've got a little pocket knife up here, garage door openers, things like that. That little thing right there, I love. I've put that, <coughs> sorry, in um, every one of my vehicles. It's kind of like a little visor organizer. Keeps everything right there handy. It's up out of the way. I love that thing. Um, so that's pretty much for the inside. I'm gonna show you my uh, belt loop, how I would, uh, my belt loop uh, tool bag, how I would rig that out. And then we'll show you what's in the back of the truck. 
Okay, so as I said, I don't get to run jobs on a daily basis anymore like I used to, but uh, whenever I was and meeting with subs or um, homeowners, I would pretty much, depending on the meeting, if it was uh, you know laying out cabinetry, laying out closets, laying out framing, windows, door, I mean doors, all that kind of stuff, I would pretty much probably throw this on um, every time. And what I've got here is a big marker. That's great for marking studs for doors and things like that. This is a, um, <clears throat> it's a Sharpie mega streak. It's kind of like a waxy permanent kind of wax thing. That's great for, uh, marking the slab with anything you need to lay out like wall movements, things like that. And then just a standard Sharpie here for detailed writing. That's got a really fat tip. You can't, you hardly write a note same thing there but uh you know with the finer tip of just a regular sharpie i can write notes on the walls and things like that red pen for marking up floor plans um i always that's a felt tip red pen i always use that um i've got a construction pencil here that's for i use this one for molding work um just because it's got a finer finer tip on it um trying to use one of these great big carpenter's pencils when you're marking out, you know, detailed base and crown and things like that is not very fun. Uh, but that is what I use for framing, cutting lumber, cutting um, studs, uh, OSB, things like that. Uh, and then last but not least, your handy dandy tape measure here. Um, of course, that needs no explanation, but it's a nice little pocket deal that fits on my side and um, everything's right there at the ready and I don't have to dig through my pockets or put stuff down or anything like that. It's all right there and uh, handy. So that's that. And now let's go show you kind of what tools and things I carry in the back of the truck. All right. So before we get there, let me just show you what I, I use for a bed cover. It's the Pace Edwards. I think this is the Jackrabbit, but it's metal. Um, it rolls out and it rolls up into this box, which is nice so I can have the bed open or closed if I need it. <clears throat> and then it's got a lock here um, so I can lock the bed if I don't like the area I'm at and I feel like somebody might try to break in and get all my tools, I can lock that. And then my tailgate locks. So uh, basically it, it's, it's a completely locked compartment. Somebody would have to take a grinder to this or beat it up to get in. So I, I love that. So. Let me uh, drop the tailgate here and show you what we're working with inside. So we've got the De DeWalt Tough system. Um, this carries all of my power tools. I can show you that in just a second. Um, hand tools here and fasteners and batteries and things like that here. And then I keep an ice chest with me um, quite a bit, especially in the summer. Bottled water, I can fit, you know, almost a dozen bottled waters, things like that in there. I think this is the Rody 20 or something like that, the Yeti. I also keep it, uh, it's so expensive, I keep it on its own cable lock. The uh, key is on my key ring for that. So let's break open some, uh, let's break open some toolboxes, just give you a brief overview. I'm probably not going to show you everything, but just a brief example of what I might carry on a daily basis. All right, so before I do that, uh, real quick, we was slid underneath it so you couldn't see it, but I carry a uh, DeWalt um, quarter inch and three eighths inch uh, socket set. So uh, I, my socket set is in its own case, completely stays away from everything else. So here we go. Okay, I'll show you uh, the most, if not all, the power tools so you'll get a good uh, good idea of what I've got there. That's kind of the fun stuff anyway. So the first thing, my head's cut off. I'll kind of bend down a little bit so you can still see in the box. That's not a power tool. That is a caulking gun. Heavy duty caulking gun. It's just a cobalt, 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 cobalt um, doing punch list things, things like that. You, This comes in very handy and you ought to always have one. I believe that. Uh, 100 foot tape, um, laying things out in the backyard with concrete guys, landscaping, all those kind of things. This is handy and a must, must have. <clears throat> 20 volt sander um, with the filter that pops off. Um, that's handy as a pocket on a shirt. Uh, you've got the flex volt grinder here, brushless 60 volt grinder. 
Um, I love this thing, especially when you're in a pinch. I've got uh, the grinding wheel on it now. I've got a cutting wheel that I carry uh, for a quick swap out. Um, I've got a 20 volt right angle drill. This thing is awesome for trying to get to something in a tight place. Um, as you can see, it turns 90 degrees when you can't get your big long driver in or whatever. This thing will do it. It'll drill or screw in, obviously. So that's handy. Then you've got your hammer drill, your 20 volt brushless um, XR, DeWalt. Um, you're gonna see that I'm a big DeWalt supporter. I love their tools. Um, lots of professionals use this brand right here. Uh, then you've got our front oscillating saw. This thing probably gets used as much as the driver, probably the most used tool. It's got a blade that sticks off the front that allows you to cut into things, uh, shaving them off or whatever. We use this a lot. So much so that I bought myself a new one and the other guys have confiscated mine because they use the crap out of it. Um, then just your DeWalt XR 20 volt driver. Um, we use this a lot. It's probably the most beat up tool I've got. Um, the DeWalt Flex Volt Sawzall 60 volt. Um, love this thing. It's heavy. It's big though. Um, but it's 60 volt and can do just about anything I need it to do. Uh, fish tape. <laughs> you don't really care about that. And uh, we got two saws left. My uh, this is my flex volt. I would call it a skill saw, um, but it's just but skill saw is their own brand. But that's just what I've kind of grown up calling them in the framing world. We always used worm saws. In fact, I'm probably going to sell this one, and they make a flex volt worm drive option because I hate cutting with these. Uh, I love the right-handed worm drive. They're heavier, sure, but I can see everything I'm doing. I can see the front of the blade and see the line. So probably gonna trade this in for the, uh, the worm drive option, but still the flex volt, still the DeWalt. And last but not least, a 20 volt, uh, 20 volt jigsaw. Um, so that's pretty much it for the saws and Power tools, let's break into the hand tools. I'll be faster on that and kind of go down the road, but first I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack this all back up. Okay, so the next two boxes <clears throat> are the, uh, the uh, hand tools and fasteners. I keep these two locked together. There's a locking system on it. I keep them locked together so they don't slide around or if they do slide, they slide as one. So I'm gonna unlock these and go through the hand tools first. Okay, the hand tool bucket here, bucket box. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, this top tray is full of just miscellaneous tools. Um, just to kind of hit the highlights for you, I've got every kind of plier you could think of. We got dikes here. I've got uh, some straight up channel lock, just cutters. Um, we use this a lot for pulling nails and trim, uh, cutting nails off and trim work. We got a monkey wrench, we got needle nose, we've got um, regular dikes, we've got a lot, we've got splicing, stripping pliers. Um, we got channel locks of all different shapes and sizes. I've got screwdrivers of all different shapes and sizes. I've got a electrician's kind of outlet screwdriver. Spinning handle makes it easier for the rotation. I've got a drywall saw here. Hand saw for drywall. I've got another box knife, DeWalt box knife that you see. Um, I got nail punches. I've got this is a pretty cool tool here. Uh, if you get into a, a pinch and have to get behind something, this is a flexible bit that uh, you can put a Phillips or whatever in there. Put this in your drill, and it all spins um, no matter what angle or however you contort it. That's pretty handy. I got both different metric and standard sets of Allen wrenches. Uh, a plumb bob, so that's 
pretty much it for what's up top here. Down below, I keep drop cloth, sandpaper, uh, hardware mounting stuff for if I'm going in and a kitchen needs to be hardwared, I can I have the ability or can do that efficiently. Uh, WD-40 because that fixes everything. It's like duct tape. Some saw blades. A whole saw kit, Diablo. There's a different brand for you. Uh, chalk line that's hung up on stuff. Um, drip drill bits and drivers. A uh, staple gun. A pop rivet gun. Speed square. Uh, hammer. Pry bar. I got a couple tools here I'm going to show you. And believe it or not, they get used quite a bit in the home kind of repair stuff. If you can tell me what these are, I might... Uh, I'll send you a free tape measure for the first comment that can tell me what they're what these are I have uh, I have two DeWalt tape measures I'll send you uh, if you get this right this is the first one and only one person per each um, tool here can win this one here if you can tell me what that's used for in the comments below I will send you a free tape measure and this one here if you can tell me in the comments below what this tool is used for, I will send you a free tape measure. Like I said, one winner per item, and only one person can win an item. So those two things, they're not difficult, but you'll have to do some research probably. And then I've got the Craig channel locks here with uh, the Craig system here for pocket screwing, if you don't know what that is and you build any kind of cavern cabinetry or high-end molding this is a must so craig system is awesome for pocket holes like i said a pop rivet gun some sockets the some uh, more this is that grinding wheel uh cutoff wheel and then some front oscillating blades <coughs> so that's basically it for the uh for the hand tools feel like I've got just about everything covered here so let me show you the battery setup and some miscellaneous fasteners we carry after I put all this crap back in here okay last and probably least this is going to be the least exciting is kind of this top little short narrow box you can see it's not very deep uh, this holds all of my not all of them, but enough batteries to get by for any situation. Um, as well as a uh, some fasteners in the top part, we'll show you in just a second. Uh, and then some miscellaneous things that we use to, to do the jobs we need to do. So right here we have a couple of, uh, you can't see that, so let's just do this. So right here you have a couple of flex volt batteries. Um, sitting in their own pod we've got a a um, a four amp hour xr 20 volt battery here and then we've just got our little you know regular 20 volt batteries that we would use on a driver just to miss get in there and get some stuff done some staples here some silicone two different types of silicone here um, this is a pretty neat little tool it's got a predetermined um, edge so you can just run that down for caulking and it gives you a really perfect bead um, <coughs> it's not a must-have but it kind of makes life easier sometimes and gives you a much prettier line uh, some zip ties um, in here we have a couple of electrical things I've got an outlet some outlet testers some overall just um, wire testers uh, this one has a little bit lower range than this one and this one's got a higher range um, just a, a four-way splitter some blue tape for uh, punch outs walkthroughs uh, tape and walls things like that duct tape electrical tape teflon tape for air hoses um, yeah pretty much just this is just a kind of a miscellaneous all-in bucket uh, and then I'll show you the fasteners we carry in the top if I can figure out how to there we go Okay fasteners in the top uh, carry some 
5 8 inch little short screws for uh, hinges, things like that. They're exterior, so they can be used for that as well. Then we've got kind of an all-in bucket, some half-inch ones, some two-inch, some two-and-a-half-inch, some inch and three-quarter. Uh, kind of just a bunch of different variation in there. In here, we've got some tap cons with the drill for any concrete screws we need to do. Mollies and drywall screws here for hanging things. Uh, trim head screws. Uh, electrical socket connectors. Uh, a timber lock six inch screw for drilling through big material um, and yeah that's pretty much it so the only thing that's left that i didn't want to show you is kind of how all this stacks together um, and show you that so there you have it it all kind of locks together there as you can see um, it, it locks together on the sides here if you wanted to if i'm if i know i'm going into a, a house that needs you know a few hours worth of work I'm going to take all my boxes out like this, lock them together, and that bottom one acts as a dolly. And I'm just going to wheel my whole setup into the house, and then bam, I've got everything I need right there. So that's pretty much the tool setup. Uh, the only other thing I want to show you in the truck is, if you can see it, I've got one of those ratcheting bars that goes across to keep everything from sliding around. And then I keep jumper cables in there, some tow straps, some bungees, uh, and the cargo netting, things like that. So that's basically it for this video um don't forget to comment below uh what you might carry differently than i've got um how you might carry it differently and then if you know the names of those tools if you haven't done it by now you probably didn't win but go in the comments and uh write those names of those tools down and uh i will send you a message uh, to get your email and get your address and all that and i'll send you a free dewalt tape measure so beyond that uh we're gonna end this right here and we'll see you next time up on the ridge